Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate y'all. We are growing by the and we are so honored that you will take the time out of your evening to join us. Um, we have more people this week, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so we have, I just have a few announcements. We have a special guest here. We have Pluto, okay? He is a spiritual guy and he is a healer and he's just gonna share some tips with us. Our subject focus for this week is um, Matthews 5, 3, happy are those conscious of their spiritual needs. And so since we are, since I'm a spiritual coach and he's a spiritual guide and we, you know, we all are in this um, space and we are with our tribe right now to just gain more enlightenment spiritually and to grow spiritually um, because we know that things are more spiritual than they are physical. And so here we would learn a little bit more um, insight from uh, what Pluto has to, uh, what he would like to share with us. And, um, and then afterwards, we're going to have a few announcements because we want you guys to um, take part in our quarterly uh, drawings where we have, where we give away uh, free gifts to two people, and that will be on March uh, 25th, okay? So, um, one, just one thing, I'm sorry. So, Pluto, he is, uh, his purpose is to enlighten, to heal others and to share the sacred knowledge um, and truths and mythologies that is communicated with him by a divine force. And he exudes the affirmations, I am a portal of peace, I am pure fire, I am gravity, I am currency, I am force. And he is, he is like, um, I, w I would like to say uh, my brother from another mother, but after, actually he is my brother from spirit, from God, and I'm so grateful for him. I met him along on my spiritual journey. He dropped so many gems for me that I was able to like, take and harness to, um, to complete my spiritual puzzle. So I will forever, forever be grateful for him. And for him to be here with us is such an honor, it's such a, ple it's such a pleasant surprise, and it's such a gift. So... Pluto, do your thing, baby. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Thank you, sis. I just want to say, first off, thank you for, you know, putting this together, you know. And I think, what is what is the other young lady's name? Ashley. 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 Hey, how you doing, Ashley? I'm good. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to the women, to the divine feminine because y'all showing out and it's a it's a new understanding that has been brought to my awareness more more directly in the last few weeks here so i just want to say thank y'all for you know for being a vehicle by which the most high moves um and then i want to say thank 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 you to the most high and to the divine feminine to i call her i call her a uh, mother the uh I, saw, I call her grandmother the mother with the sway because she sways i love her um and thank you for that for for that introduction and me and um me and sis we was just talking it's it's a mutual like you know what you provide and what you give back is really um next level it's amazing, it's inspiring, it's energizing, it's pure, it's genuine, it's love. And I'll say from everybody, I'm sure that we appreciate, we appreciate it and we love you back. Um, uh, so as far as I go, I, I, can't, I, I can't go into my whole backstory, but I'll, we'll, we'll start from the topic, which is um, happy are those, uh, conscious of their spiritual what was it now happy are those conscious of their spiritual needs spiritual needs yeah I, when you send me this when you send me the subject you know i wanted to really look into it and so i began to look into the etym etymology of the word happy and what i found is that um happy comes from the root word lucky so uh, it means to be lucky, to be blessed, uh, to be fortunate, um, to be content. 
So when, when you're happy, when you're happy, when you're genuinely happy about something, that means that you are content. In other words, to, to go deeper, to a, a level deeper, what it means is that you had a vision or a desire that was met, right? That's what it means to be happy, that your vision or desire is met. So happy are those conscious of their spiritual, and say it again, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting this last word. No, it's good. Happy are those conscious of their spiritual needs. I have something I want you to, to clarify too. Just some yeah. Okay. Um, no, go ahead, ask a question. So just really quickly, because you are, you understand. Um, so last week I was asked a question, like when I'm doing readings, I channel a lot of energy, mm -hmm. I get a lot of downloads in, which is able, which is the reason why I'm able to give communication, right? Right. Um, so I asked, I was asked why, like, am I actually thinking of the proper words to say when I'm, when I'm trying to communicate what the cards are saying? So I said, no, I'm not what I'm trying to do is process all of the downloads in real time. I'm trying to communicate that. I'm getting clear audience messages. I'm getting clairvoyant messages. I'm getting messages. I'm seeing pictures. I can do so many things, which is the reason why I'm able to communicate, right. to, you know, through a reading. And right. things that I encounter with a reading, I can't share them all. Okay. Right. Um, for example, for example, when, when someone asks me about a dead loved one, I can't give them everything that I receive because it's going to be too much for them to be able to grasp because I see so many different things that mm. a, a person could not really even be able to stomach if I, if I actually say it. So I, wanna, I want you to um, break down what is a download from your perspective. Ooh, what is a download? Um, yeah, so they, they can come in, in different ways. For me, I think I would sum it up in a single sentence, or if I could sum it up in a single sentence, I would say that a download is when um, you receive information from the most high. Um, and my belief is that this information in, a, in, in, the, in, the, in the aspect of a download, uh, I will categorize it different, like a revelation. A download can be a revelation, but sometimes you have personal revelations. To me, specifically, a download is when there is information that has been given by the divine or by the spirit or by the most high that is actually a broadcasted message. In other words, you're not the only person that's receiving it. Um, um, and that's just the way I look at it. Um, so, so, let me see. I, I think I want to give a, a story to sort of give the example uh and i'll try to be quick with it but it was about a year about i would say about two two years ago i started having communication with what i call the ancestor the elements the angels and um this particular event happened maybe a few weeks after the initial encounter happened and my mom had asked me and my brother and my sister to come out into the room she wanted us to listen to uh, a uh, a rabbi speak about police brutality and his, his, basically his point was that uh, he felt like there were things that the young black man who died could have done differently in order to avoid being killed. Um, so we sat there and we listened to this video, me, my brother, my sister. And as soon as the video started, I began to hear the ancestor. The first thing I heard was, they're not hearing this. They're not hearing this. And I looked at my mom, I looked at my brother, and I looked at my sister, all in their face. And I could tell that they were listening to the, to the video. And then again, I heard, they're not hearing this. You're the only person hearing this right now. And then when I heard that, they began, it was, it was really interesting because I was listening to the guy speak, but I could hear them over him. And it was almost like I was hearing the message that he heard that uh, provoked this video. Um, and what they were saying was, they said, what, what he's saying is coming from a place of fear, from a spirit of fear. They said, but listen closely because there will, you will need to implement some of the things that he's saying. In other words, there will come a time where you may need to operate in movements and in a, and in a um, certain energy that may 
that, that you may think is fearful, um, basically to save your life. Um, and then they said, but there will come a time that certain individuals who sit at the intersection will gain authority over situations. Okay, so I just gave that, that's, that is a, that happened to me. But I believe what I heard was a, a download. I believe I was hearing the download that the, uh, the rabbi initially heard that, like I said, was a catalyst for his, for his video. Um, yeah, but uh, I would say a download can happen in many, in many different ways. It can happen in a dream. It can happen um, in what we call our, um, our uh, conscience, you know. Um, mm. It just has to be with being open, aware, and receptive because we are receivers. We are no different than whatever device you're using to do the impossible of seeing an image in your hand and also hearing a person that is not in the same space as you. How is that possible? Well, it happens by way of this device, which is a receiver, because it's elements that are, that are brought together, rearranged, changed, um, energy sources added, and based upon the arrangement, you're able to see, perceive, you know, a whole nother space of reality, which is the internet. Um, we are no different than a phone. We are just bio, um, bio, I call it a bio mechanism. We are a machine, but it's, it's an organism. And the same way that this phone is comprised of parts, so is our body. And we just need to understand what what we're working with thank you thank you i love how you just deep dive and say everything like you get deep into the subject <laughs> i know i'll be trying i'll be trying to like restrain myself because i can go deep into some stuff and i'll be like i'll be trying to well I'm, I'm, i should say I'm, I'm trying to but i do want to be able to explain and, and express um relatable information exactly you know so that's what i'm working on Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. So, uh, the reason why uh, I asked uh, Pluto that question is because um, a lot of us have dreams and we think that the dreams are everything that we need in plain sight. We think that our dreams mean what our dreams mean when we have them, but actually it's, it's a message that's decoded and mm -hmm. everything means something. And we all are able to receive this information, even if we don't know that we are receiving it. We all have these abilities. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just about being aware. And that's what the whole point of why we're here for enlightenment, for us to understand how we can align ourselves spiritually so that way it makes sense physically. Okay. So, I'll say. So. I'll add to that. I'll add to that. It's the, it's the main reason why and I know everyone has experienced this on some level where you have an idea, an original thought. And it seems like as soon as you have that idea, if you do not move or act on it, within a week to a few months, you will see that same idea outside of yourself in some way, shape or form. Absolutely. And that's because typically information is broadcasted across the ether or or the invisible energy that you can't see and like i said we're, we're we're we are all receivers some are better receivers than others but nine times out of ten if it came to you then it came to somebody else too yeah i have a question i saw paris i'm not trying to put you on blast but i saw you agree do you want to add anything is there something that you'd like to add you, you can but it's no pressure if you don't want to but i saw that you you <laughs> I'm like, come on in, girl. <laughs> the only reason, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the reason why I shook my head was because it was times that I had, a, I, like he said, I had an idea in my head. It was like an um, invention of something. And I didn't act on that invention. And then like a year or so later, it was out here. So somebody had that same thought that I had. Or like he said, whatever came to us, like it's not, it didn't just come to me, it came to others. But that person was quicker to act on it than I was. So I agree with him. That's, that's deep. That's real deep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to say something to that. Um, I want you to understand a little, a, a layer deeper as to why that happens. It happens because, 
and I hope that y'all can understand or see, see, see behind the statement that I'm about to say, because the statement is going to be a cliche statement, um, but it's not about you. It's not about you. And at the very same time, it is. But in this, in this aspect, it's not about you. What I mean by that is that you are given information in order to uh, create or manifest it. But the energy, the, um, the wheel, what gave you that information um, has a purpose in giving you the information. The purpose in giving you that information is that it manifests. Um, and what I mean by it's not about you is because you're not the only person able to manifest it. So the wheel of, let's call it the divine, the wheel of the divine is going to manifest its purpose through you or through a, a reflection of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. so I'm sorry. Is, oh, you're good. You're good. So this is what we're going to do for the next segment of it. We're going to do our collective reading as we always do. We're going to get the energy, the um, collective energy that we have in common with all of us to see where we are right now and how we can align ourselves. And I actually, um, I was moved to just create a structure for us to understand um, the placements in our birth chart. So I also have some birth chart uh, cards here that um, that help us to see where to focus at on which houses or which planets that's within our birth chart to help us to thrive in um, in a specific area. And if you um, are not familiar with uh, birth charts or if you're not familiar with um, how to break down your birth chart, then I'll put the information in the chat and then um, you can contact me. You can send me an email for a birth chart reading. And I'll be happy to break it down for you. So let's, oh. let's go ahead and get some card to see what we have in common. Can I say something? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, don't you know? Uh, last week when we was talking, we was talking about our angels. Like when you see nine eleven, call on your angel. Yeah. I forgot what angel you said, but since I last was with you, it was two times that I seen nine eleven, and I called on my angel. And every day I am blessed, but it's like when that nine eleven came up, and I called on my angel, a blessing came down. Girl. So I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. It's Archangel mm -hmm. Michael. And I tell I told you when you when I'm telling you, you gotta when you tap into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I'm thank you for sharing. Thank you. You're welcome. So it's Archangel Michael. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get two more cards. Oh, I see you talking, but you on mute. Oh, I've been muted. My bad. No, I do I do wanna say thank you. I wanted to thank archangel michael um the great leader for coming through and 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 revealing those lessons Ooh, i enjoy it. you always want to thank thank the most high thank the ancestors when they when they show up and answer your your prayer absolutely absolutely okay so we have some energy that comes out we have expressing my feelings now this is the energy that we have in common we have expressing my feelings and this is connected with the throat chakra we have well-being that's connected with the sacral chakra and we have instinct and that's connected with the root chakra and at the bottom of the deck we have compassion and forgiveness which is connected to the heart chakra now let's get some divine guidance and let's see how to move forward in this reading So we have connected to well-being. When you take care, excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. If you're mm. 
and treat today because you deserve it. And this goes along with activating your sacral chakra to make sure that you are um, in alignment in the areas of your creativity, creatively manifesting the things that, that you are deserving of. We also have, you are a spiritual teacher. And this one is we are in the subject of happy are those conscious of their spiritual needs because spiritual teacher comes out and it says you have a gift, um, the ability to counsel others and help them to awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Okay, and this is under uh, expressing your feelings. So you have the ability to carry your voice, to um, acquire the knowledge that you have in the areas of enlightenment where you um, intuitively feel it, but you're not yet aligned where you actually like ready to express it. So this is the throat chakra. And then right here we have um, schooling, study, education uh, helps your life purpose and growth at this time. And that's connected to your instincts. And that's what we was talking about, like aligning your instincts and understanding that you are feeling this for a purpose. Okay. And being comfortable within that. And then it says take action because you are um, in touch with this, the truth in this situation. So you need to uh, lovingly insert yourself and trust your gut feeling. So let's see what area with these cards that we can focus on. We have reunion and we have psychic. <laughs> so I look at the reunion as us gathering here right now. Look at the psychic abilities as our instinct, our gut feelings. Trust our feelings. Connect with your tribe. Um, us being here together, we, we all have something to contribute to one another um, in a very, very beautiful way. Um, because we're all getting something out of this that, that's going to help us and give us enlightenment once we get off this call once we go through our week there's something that we're going to get from this that actually matters and we can um insert it in where we need to in our lives and let's see what area of our birth chart we need to focus on that comes out is the Jupiter. Right now, Jupiter is in Aquarius. Uh, right now, we are actually in the age of Aquarius and moving more towards in that, which is a spiritual time. Um, the age of Aquarius is innovative. It is spiritual, spiritual enlightenment, aligning ourselves spiritually. So we have the Jupiter card that comes out and it's connected with the ninth and the 12th house. Okay. Um, this, this is connected to ideology, ideology uh, luckiness, animals, wealth, and being a help, okay? Then we have shift your focus. And, and then this is the quote, you know, these cards are a little sassy. So they say, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Just that splat. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Just shift your focus. Whenever something seems like, okay, it's, it's boggling you down or anything like that, it's just shift your focus because don't worry about it. Everything is in alignment. And the fact that right now Jupiter is in Aquarius, like I had said before, there's a lot of things that, that is going to unfold that are unfolding behind the scenes that we don't know yet, but we're going to see them um, unfold day by day, situation by situation. We have hey, actually repeat what, that, what the last card said. The shift your focus or the Jupiter? The shift your focus. Okay, so shift your focus and it's saying don't worry about it. Okay. Don't this that flat which means don't worry about it everything is exactly everything is in alignment don't you worry about it everything is exactly where it's supposed to be exactly how it's supposed to unfold that's exactly what's going on but if you shift your focus out of the negative to the positive you're able to manifest because our thoughts are able to manifest things like this even if we don't realize it so when we shift our focus from negative to positive that puts 
us in a light that of what we deserve versus darkness in which it's going to weigh us down energetically. I need to hear this word though. The last word, sway. What does it say? Fla. Fla. No, S T L A H. Fla. Fla. It's, it's, <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I saw I heard it. Uh, it's just like a quote. It's like something that has to me because the cards have like uh, music in the windows and triple entendres and stuff like that. So what I hear in that is uh, I call I call I call the grandmother sway. Okay. Because because the feminine the the, the divine feminine she, she sways you know she moves. Mm -hmm. Um, spla. It's basic. I hear basically, Mama got it. That, that's exactly what that means. <laughs> Mama. That's exactly what that means. So we have life seven, um, and that is seeker, reclusive, philosophical, mystic, and silent. Well, we talked about a lot of things that's going on behind the scenes. So life path seven. We also have the fourth house, which is inner world. This is connected to home roots inner security, parents, family, and self-care. So let's go back to what was this. So we took it. I know it's a lot. Okay, so we have Jupiter, which is connected to the ninth house and the twelfth house. We also have the fourth house energy. Okay. And we also understand that in times where things can be seen like it's boggling down for us to shift our focus and understanding that what we put our energy and attention to that's exactly what it would be so if we put our energy and attention to things that stresses us out versus uh, um, and so so a hack for that is to like create a, gr a gratitude list um, in 2019 and last year I created like a jar and I put gratitude on it and each day I would write something down and I would just like boil it up and put it in a jar until the jar was full and on the days I'm just like not in the mood like just Things can seem like it's crumbling down. I would empty out the jar and I would keep picking and, and opening the notes until I felt better. And I'm like, you know what? I got everything to be grateful for. And that shifts my mood. It's like psychological. Um, and then when I shift my mood from, from worrying to the point where I'm boggling myself down with more worries, I shift my, my perspective to a, a, a grateful point of view. And then I was able to see stuff. And then I, I was able to manifest opportunities out of that because I got myself out of the rut just off of something that I was already like collecting. So that's just like a little, a little, little tip and trick um, to help, to help. And then let's see, I'm compelled to do one more. An affirmation, let's do an affirmation. So the affirmation that says, I choose to not worry about things I can't control. And a quote to meditate on says, live with compassion, work with compassion, die with compassion, meditate with compassion, enjoy with compassion, and when problems come, experience them with compassion. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have today, we have today, I choose a beginner mind and I open myself to boundless possibilities. So I hope that you guys can take everything or some things from our um, our us connecting tonight and apply them into your life, into your week. And I'm wishing you guys the best with everything that you do. We are rooting for your success, your healing, and everything that you are doing. Um, and for the information on how to join the raffle, I'm putting it in the chat below. And next week, we have two guest speakers, uh, Siobhan, Siobhan uh, Craig. She is um, 
and she worked in the area of finances. So next week is the fi topic of finances to be able to help us to align ourselves and give us tips and tricks. So she is really good with how how we can identify interest rates and how we can lower costs um, just by recognizing what it, uh, when, when and when not to um, jump into a contract with interest rates. Um, also, she has so many different tip, tips and tricks on how we can navigate with um, percentages within our money. We also have Gregory Williams, and he is a Forex trader guru. So he really is so eager to just teach people how to just navigate in the material world and how to get some money and also the smartest way to invest. So we have both of them that will be here next week to give us some insight on financial security and financial literacy. So if you guys could join us back next week, that would be super awesome. And the information to enter the uh, quarterly giveaway is in the chat. And the links are available as well as, uh, well as the schedule for the um, quarterly raffles. And just so you know, um, you may... You may click the link where it says leave a donation, whatever you would like to share. And you can just click that. And it's really whatever you'd like to share. It's um it's gonna be a revolving door because the donations that you guys share with us is actually go towards the uh raffles because we pour back into you guys based off of so so the gifts that you'll get will be specifically tailored to your needs. Whatever stones, whatever, you know, spa day, whatever it is that you need at that time, that's what we are here to provide you with. And that's pretty much what the donations will go towards. So if you guys would like to do that, that information is in there. And we are going to um, have our first announcement for the winners, two winners on March 25th. And it will be here in our Zoom uh, events. And if you would like, this is an invitation only event. So if you want anybody to come, feel free to invite them. That is completely fine. Um, yeah, that is it, you guys. Did anyone have anything that you want to say before we conclude this evening? No? Okay. Well, thank you. I got something I wanted to say. I wanted to um, piggyback on what you said when you put stuff out in the universe. Mm -hmm. So, um... I was talking, I, my cousin, right, she had, she had the money to open the business that, that I had a dream about. And I don't know where y'all live at, but off of um, 8 Mile and Van Dyke. And uh, that's when they were, it was just empty warehouse. And I seen the bounce house there with the bounce houses in it and with the party room. And uh, a year later, when I was telling her, like, y'all got the money. Um, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to give me the money. I want you to open the business. And a year later, it was open and they had the rooms and everything that I, that I seen in my dreams. Look at that real like seriously like we get downloads thank you for sharing we all get downloads it's like when we gonna act on them <laughs> that's I, I didn't have the money so i was like let me call somebody that has the money mm -hmm. so i because i was like where would i get this money from and i just visioned that warehouse and it opened oh. like i said man that's beautiful i want to say something in response to that too because it made me think about something um that a lot of times when you when you when you want to manifest something or when you when you put something out in the universe to come back to you um sometimes we don't always have the right focus and a lot of times what ends up happening is the universe will will connect you with people uh that are able to help you manifest that that thing it may even it may even appear that it manifested for them and not you the point that i want to make is that we have to we have to be open to the way that the most high moves and we have to be looking out for the lessons um a lot of times what it means is that you is to establish relationships or to reestablish relationships either like you said with family 
or friends, which are ultimately just reflections of you. In other words, it's saying that I'm going to give you what you want, but you have to get in touch or you have to reestablish or repair a relationship um, that is a reflection of you. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I love when you speak, just so you know. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for y'all being here and coming back and just all of this. And just for us to share this sacred space together is so appreciative. It's so heartfelt. Just want you to yes. Yeah. And I also want to say before we close, I want to again thank the Most High, uh, the King, the Father, and also uh, the Grandmother this way and I just want to thank you all the hosts the heavens and earth for coming and meeting up with us here in this space the space that we created in between worlds for this specific purpose and I ask that you go with and come forth all those who have been in the presence of of your divine um your divine sway, your divine energy tonight, all those who have been witness to things that have been said here tonight and, um, and, and other nights. I want you to go with them, permeate their minds with wisdom, um, bring forth knowledge, which is power, and fill them up with the, the, the blood of heaven the blood of heaven, which is the ether, which is the energy, which is the currency, the force. And I ask that you allow them to be the force and the gravity and the Messiah and the King in their domain. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> uh, I love the energy. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you for having me, sis. You're very welcome. Come back right. like anytime. Definitely. And I hope everybody else enjoyed my I call it rambling. Sometimes I could just be go, I could go on and on. I need, I need, I need sis to be like to, you know, you know, the mother, she brings, she brings balance to the equation. I can just, I can go. Y'all be like, mm, you're not even making sense no more. All right, but <laughs> but I appreciate everybody. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for joining us. Ashley, did you have anything you want to uh, conclude with? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. But this is it, you guys. We love you. Ashe. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Bye. I don't do that either. <laughs> mm -mm. Look at dear. Look at this.